we're, we're building, building PCs, PCs again. again. Wow, what a great intro, guys. Very the energy cute. in this yes. room is incredible right I'm now. I'm buzzing. Yeah. I shouldn't be, I should be earthed. Uh, yes, you should be earthed. Uh, that's really... Uh, God, that's a good point. These are earthed, right? These electrical watches we're wearing? Yeah, I should Almost certainly. Earth. Should we I take them like off? I'm taking mine off. Let's that's take them off just in case. Christ. We are today building very powerful computers Tiny little box. Mini ITX, right? So we're, yeah, we're building Mini ITX 4K capable PCs. Mwah. First and foremost, thank you very much to various <laughs> sponsors uh, that have uh, come on board for this. We're very, very grateful. We have the fantastic Ryzen 5 2600X. Six core, 12 thread processor. Next up, we've got the Asus. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, Republic of Gamer Strix motherboard. These are like brand new as well. They're the 470i gaming models. And finally, Scan. So uh, Scan very kindly uh, supplied us with these awesome Samsung 970 Pro uh, M2 drives, which are blazing fast. And absolutely they're tiny as well. Have you got one open? That's absolutely tiny. Wow, wow look at that's that. That's so Beautiful. small. Wow. Yeah. OMG. Now let's get on with the build. I've tried to come up with a way that we can do this, which is very easy, because right. one of the challenges with building mini ITX is uh, the cases are quite small, mm -hmm. so you want to try and make it as easy as possible for yourself, because well, I've otherwise- I've got dainty fingers. You do have very dexterous little hands. I have large from. chubby fingers. You do, those are little fat ones, aren't they? Little what sausages. Do I, yeah, what do you I do You look like somebody's these? taken five Cumberland sausages and just stuck them <laughs> on your on your I hands. I look like a puppet hand. Yeah, <laughs> it's a real, I don't think or you- Or Mickey Mouse gloves. Yeah. <laughs> big chubby fingers. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, okay. Uh, right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start with the motherboard. So we're going to build uh, a few different components into the motherboard before we put it into the case, just okay. to make things easy. So so this motherboard is tiny but feature packed. Um, it has not one but two M2 slots on it. We're just using one today simply because um, we don't they're have really need for two, and they're really expensive. This motherboard also supports really fast RAM. Supports with um, the processor we're using, the second generation Ryzen. It supports up to 3,400 megahertz RAM. We are using Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, 16 gigabytes, going for 3,000 megahertz because we're not planning on overclocking the RAM. I think I just want to put it in there. Tell the tell the BIOS that it's 3,000. Oh, you got you got black RAM. I got white RAM. Yeah, so Tron's building into a white case, which we'll see in a bit. Ooh, nice. But he, we aren't color coded. But me and Ross are both building into uh, dark cases, so this is what we're using. The downside or the, the thing you lose by building with a mini ITX form factor, this really small motherboard, is uh, PCIe slots. So PCIe slots would be what you put your graphics card into. Um, we only need one in this build, but... Um, Sorry, can we just compare the size of the graphics card? Yeah, why not? To the, so this is a, a GTX 1080 Ti. Yes, and this is the motherboard it's going on to. <laughs> wow. That's absurd, right? That's ridiculous. Just unboxing the Ryzen uh, 5, 2600X. It comes with a, a really decent cooler. We are going to be using a slightly different cooler because it's got some fancy LEDs on it and why not, you know? But this one looks great as well. We're not going to be using that one. This is this is it. This is the this is the processor. Troy, it's good luck to lick the bottom of the processor. Yeah, it is. Good, also, uh, good adhesion. You want to make sure you want to cover the pins in thermal... No, you don't. That's not true. Be very, very careful with the pins on the processor, okay? This here is where your um, your processor will go. Rock that up, and then you want to line up the processor in the appropriate way. Make sure we put thermal paste on the pins. Thanks. Yeah, I've already. Yeah, I've heard yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Can you just come here a sec? Yeah, 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 sure. I'm just putting the processor in here. <laughs> yeah, they got two little nugs on. Oh no, they don't. Yeah, this is a thing. Okay, so the there's... triangle goes on yeah. that triangle there. Ooh, you see the little window in the triangle? Just lay it down flat, and then you just the lever. You'll, the lever will let it do the rest. Don't do anything else. Just push okay. it down. Oh, there you go. You're welcome. Bam. Wow. Fucked that right up, didn't I? Thanks. So, so, <laughs> I have no idea. I was just guessing the whole time. Woo! That <laughs> is how easy it is. It's smoking. Mm, what is it mean? meant to smoke? Not yet, no. That's right. when we plug it in and we've overclocked it. Gently does it. And she's in. Let's install the M2 drive. So the heatsink for the M2 drive, one of the M2 drives, the, the main M2 drive that we're going to be using is going in here. Um, let's just uh, peel that off. Ooh, look at this. It's so nice looking, isn't it? They've done mm. a bloody good job of making it. Bloody look. hell. Bloody beautiful. Ross, look at this. It's tiny. I know, yeah. That is the M2 drive. It's absolutely minuscule. This just goes into here. There we go. Now, a really important tip for building any kind of PC, don't over tighten screws. Oh, weird. Why would, oh. you, why would you recommend that? Famously, Mark Turpin <laughs> snapped um, a piece of a motherboard off trying to secure uh, a, a CPU. Oh, what the fuck was that? I just broke it. What? <laughs> Did you break it? Yeah, yeah, they just... 
Just snap the screw, <laughs> screw right on. Always hand tighten um, <laughs> with screws. Never use yeah. power tools or anything like that. And then, yeah, you just you just put in those screws that I took out earlier, put the heatsink back in place, and you are laughing. Laugh, both <laughs> of you. <laughs> it's difficult, too, when I've got that process to do. Yeah. So just always that snapping sound, and that's done, right? Yeah, yeah it just starts clicking. Just a snap. I did it. Well done, Trot. That's one, one down. Ross is just about to finish. I'm finished, too. Okay, great. So M2 that, success. That's those in. Uh, we're going to now uh, M2. Just, M2? M3. The next step is ram, and I don't mean a male sheep. Push these back, and then insertion. Just kind of rock it into the clicks. Rock it in. Use both your hands, and clicks in. There we go. And that's how you write off ram. And uh, that is completely what? useless now. Trot, you're not going to be able to have ram on your computer. You're just going to have to remember everything. Christ. How are you going to handle that mentally? I don't know. It's going to be difficult, isn't uh, it? Yeah, I'm not even RGB. Get rammed. I'm this is the face of someone who has RAM. What next? I think we should install the motherboard and then put the cooler in, personally. Mm -hmm. um, Sounds like we should do that. But before we do that, let's instead install the PSU and SSD without cables. So we're just going to put the PSU block in. We've got a fully modular PSU okay. um, into the case. So let's just put this over here for the time being. These are the cases we're using. Wow. These are NZXT H200Is. They are something I've wanted to build in for a long time, um, and I think they're sexy. They've got good cable routing, uh, come with some uh, cooling built in, uh, and uh, yeah, generally a, a good looking mini ITX case. The power supplies we're using are EVGA 750G3s. These are gold rated, meaning they're very efficient, uh, nice and quiet, and hopefully won't produce too much heat. Uh, to put the PSU in, just uh, lay the case on its front, and then you can see at the bottom here, We've got the gap that we slide the PSU into. The fan needs to point upwards, right? This is a this is a good question, Trot. I thought it would point downwards towards this mesh. I, I usually install them pointing downwards, personally. And there's a little mesh at the bottom. I uh, guess that's what it's for, right? Why not? Yeah. It's a mesh at the top, Ross. It depends yeah. if it's a push or a pull fan. So, uh, in terms of SSDs, uh, we're going to be using a sort of solid state drive um, as well as sort of a, a cheaper library drive option. You've got one port at the front here, uh, and on the back here, you've actually got two uh, potential uh, mounting points for more SSDs. So, where are you going to put yours? The back or the front, do you think? I would like to access mine okay. for quick deletion, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so you want to be able to get a drill through it as fast as possible. As fast as possible. Please knock on the door down, get the power drill. I can't just get the back plate off that quickly. No, exactly. So, you, you need I to. I smash through the, uh, the glass. tempered glass. Yeah and then get into that drive. And just get a drill through it as soon as you can, chuck it in the microwave, no blood, no foul. You're out scot-free, aren't you? Please haven't got anything. They have nothing at all. We're using Samsung 860 Evos. Um, really, really good quality drive, really reliable, really fast. The cooler we're gonna be using for our motherboard, uh, for our CPU, sorry. It's the Kraken M22 cooler. We're gonna be using that for the CPU. Uh, this is sort of a, a, a lower cost version of uh, NZXT's cooler range. I think it's time to install the motherboard, guys. Um, oh my god! Oh my god, it's time to do the motherboard. So we're gonna go into here, gonna make sure we line up all these standoff. First things you wanna do though, before we do that, is to put the IO shield on the back here. It can be a little bit fiddly sometimes, these things. Okay, yeah, so that just pops into the back. Just Delic match up the uh, inputs and outputs on the back of your motherboard to that IO shield. That should give you a good gauge for roughly where the motherboard should be. There you go, like that. Ooh. Lovely. Is it a problem, I flicked off a few of these little cylinders that are on top of the Yeah, no, that- Trying to just flick them off? Yeah, I mean, those aren't necessary. They have more for decoration than right, anything okay. to make it look they, more they, complicated than it is. They looked in the way, so I just thought, get them out. Flick those out. off. How did this uh, PC build all come about then, Smith? Um, so basically, Ross was uh, talking about uh, how his, his, his home office. In 2011. 2011. We built a PC. Right. We were going to film that as a PC. Oh, build. you're talking about that? Because that was the that was the original build, wasn't it? My PC. We were going to build it on camera. Oh, was it your and PC, do a PC as well? Build. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, we were woefully unprepared. We it didn't look good. We were in a bed. We had we no a professional lighting. Dining we had to room. Do everything with home quality lighting, and it looked like sort yeah. of Tesla's workshop in mm. there. Uh, and recently that PC has failed me a few times and I thought maybe it's time for an upgrade. And we got in touch with these, these guys and they sorted us out a load of parts, which is amazing of them. And here we are, building it for you now, the PC build that we promised in 2011. Um, yeah, these are going to be our office builds for home, essentially, um, when we want to, uh, yeah, like say edit. These, these will do anything, edit, you know, um, 4K game. gaming would be good. 
So that's the F panel, and that's going into here. And Front panel. You can see with the holes, there's a missing one in a certain way, mm. and that's a good indication as to where things go. That's right in there, nicely secured, good to go. You got a lot of choice in front of you there, haven't you? Is it boggling your tiny mind? Yeah. Why is your mind so small? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. His doctors don't know either. They're baffled. No, I don't go to them. Oh. Um, so nah. he's plugged the CPU cable in, which labelled CPU. He threaded it around the back mm -hmm. uh, to then go down and meet the PSU behind here. Fan manufacturers, people who make fans, please, for the love of God, put an arrow based on which way the air goes, because. I'm not an engineer, I can't work out just by looking at the shape of the fans which way this is gonna go. My fan's connected! Where's my fucking screw gone? I'm sweating like a Thai cave diver in an orphanage right now. What? As you can see, here's Bastard. And these are the tension screws. Christ, it's so difficult to get these cables in now we've installed this fan. Where the fuck has it gone? This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, so something we're gonna have to do here, because the um, the pump element of our NZXT cooler requires USB power, um, and the motherboard only comes with one USB 2.0 internal header, I think. Uh, we have these, um, just a little expansion um, it's an internal hubs. internal USB hub. We're just gonna mount on the inside. That's your hub, and that is connected to this extra cable, which is a perif, and we put this out of way. Yeah, shove it in there like you don't care. Such a cute little build, isn't it? Such a cute little build. We have basically installed all of our cables, done all of our cable routing. Uh, so our cooler's been plugged in, our fan and our radiator and our pump have been plugged in to um, be regulated off of the CPU fan uh, port on the motherboard. Uh, we've also put our brackets back in, and this does a really good job of just hiding some of the cables mm. uh, down the middle. Um, I'm just finishing putting my bracket back in. Uh, next thing we're going to do is put the graphics card in, and that should take us to very nearly complete. 1080, good sir. Just slots in, very simply. We're done here. Tequila. There we go. And then you want to just connect your power up here. Bam. There you go. So, as you can see, it hides a lot of the mess. Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty tidy. What do you think? Does that look okay to you? So, yeah. And all you do with this horrible mess is you just Tuck close it. up the case and Forget. never open it again. Super simple. And now the tempered glass, tempered in flame. There it is. Ah, oh, that was so easy. <laughs> and bam, the graphics cards have gone back in. We put the glass sides back on, our backs on. Um, these are, only requiring an OS installation now. There we go, so we built them. We built a PC. That right. took about three hours, yeah. just for reference. Um, <laughs> Problems along the way, as is tradition, yeah. but expect some. <laughs> I think them. if you weren't filming, it probably would, wouldn't take as long. No, no way. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And three but it shows you how kind of like, you know, an afternoon you could get one built up. Yeah, you learn a lot. You could, it helps you understand. Oh my oh. God, he dropped it. Oh, it's sliding. Oh. It helps you understand where you might go wrong. Like, don't drop it on the table. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, I'm gonna actually get man, it. Man, it looks so it looks well. so cool. It's so uh, so tiny. So tiny. Uh, tiny. It's very. Let's pretty. get going. Let's get going. Let's go install some windows. Let's get these bad Let's boys lit. We're back in our room. I had to get changed because you know. It was so hot and sweaty. Definitely <laughs> not a new day. <laughs> Definitely not a new day. Um, we are just going to plug it in uh, and power it up and have a look at all the pretty lights. We're then going to install Windows using a USB drive and we will show you how to do that. It's time to switch it on and see the beautiful lights that are inside this case. Are you ready? I think so. I'm glad I changed my t-shirt too. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Wee. We went for a bit more of a low-key RGB setup this time. I know yeah. it's still quite bright. What I normally have is, is over here, you can see. Woo! It's Christmas! Now we need to install Windows, and uh, I will show you how to do that with the power of screen capture. Shh, shh. Whisper quiet. I can't hear a thing. It's so eager. This will be between 16 and 30 decibels. Bearing in mind, speaking volume is 60 decibels. Nice. It's time to install Windows 10 using a USB drive and insert it into a USB slot on your new computer. We've inserted our USB drive 
Now when you, this one's a Razer keyboard, but you can choose any you like. Start hammering delete and F2 at the same time. This will take us into our BIOS. I love the ASUS BIOS. It's very easy to use and very graphical. In here you can do all sorts of things like overclock your CPU or your RAM or all sorts of other stuff. We're not gonna to touch that quite yet because what we wanna do is we wanna select the USB we inserted as a bootable device. You can just go to the boot menu at the top here. Here we see our Jet Flash Transcend. That's our uh, USB boot option one. We can just set it as our first boot option. There are other ways to do it, but there we go. Let's take that. Save changes and reset. Now we find out whether this actually worked. And here we go. We're into the Windows installation menu. Uh, it's basically running the installer from the USB drive. So select the options you want. Obviously we're in the United Kingdom, not for long. We just click next. One thing I neglected to connect, which I'm going to shortly, is uh, an ethernet cable. You can use either Wi-Fi or ethernet, doesn't matter, but that'll mean that you can update to the latest updates at the beginning. Uh, which is a lot easier than doing them halfway down the line when you've already got lots of things installed on your computer because that can cause issues, can't it, Ross? Mm. Yes, it can. Windows 10 Pro is my preferred OS of choice. It's what we use here at work. Um, seems to work good, doesn't it? Apart from those updates, those pesky updates. I've never had a problem, but Ross really does struggle with the countdown to goodness. So here we've got our partitions. This will be our M2 drive and our SSD. I believe... It's gonna be drive zero that is the M2. I don't actually know how to check. <laughs> I'd hope it is. I wanna go with drive zero. Let's rip this gamble. And it begins. We'll copy the Windows files. It'll update as soon as I plug in that Ethernet cable as well. <laughs> that guy, it's hilarious. They call me the funny computer man. You know that? No, no. no. Welcome to the best Windows ever in a browser you'll never use again. So yeah, here we are. And uh, now it's just time to install some games, tune it up, get it running how you want it. But that, in a nutshell, is building a PC and installing Windows on it to a place where you can use it. Look, you can stack them on top of each other in this extremely precarious fashion. You guys learn anything? Uh, yeah, I learned quite a bit. Um, I learned to maybe take a break in the middle yes. because my patience ran thin at the end. Yeah, the, the cable and tidying, which we probably skipped through, uh, was a bit fiddly. How much would these cost though? Because I mean, obviously these, these ones are a bit more expensive, but I think you can build these We've well, got the top of the line SSDs and graphics cards yeah. and motherboard and yeah. RAM in there. So this a couple of grand. Yeah, yeah, these are the, on the, the extreme end. Swap things out, like you don't need a 1080 Ti. You maybe 1070, 1060 is fine. Uh, the SSD, you can get a smaller one, for example, it doesn't have to yeah. be the latest M2 no. either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just an SSD is a great start. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The processor doesn't have to be a Ryzen. Yeah. <laughs> so you could probably cut the cost in half. Yeah. You, could, the you could definitely level. cut the cost in half, yes. It's the extreme level. It's just that we went for the best, best of the best. Really, like, because well, they're provided by mm. our wonderful sponsors. Yeah, thanks to Scan, AMD, and Asus. Um, for providing us with the components that we wanted anyway, really. The, what was great about this build is I literally set out and went, right, let's build the, a really awesome mini ITX build. And then we approached people and they very kindly supplied us with some yeah. stuff. So thank you to them. Yeah, I finally updated my PC. So, Goodbye 2011 PC. Wow, only seven years. Jenga, 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 Slide Jenga. out, push it, push it, push yeah. it. Go on. <laughs> so if you like this type of video and you want us to do anything else of this type, let us um, know what you thought. Yeah, this is a very different kind of concept. Jenga, 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 Blockle, 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 Baseball Bat, Baseball. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.